Hey, I'm sitting here talking with Dr. Simone about the common misconceptions about immunisation. A topical issue for many mums. Well, look, I love that mums and mums and dads and parents in general are taking an interest in yes. their child's health and being proactive and finding out about these things. I would never discourage that. I think right. that's a really good thing to do. You have to. And be... we live in a day and age where you can. Absolutely. You, need to. you have to be 100% comfortable with right. the decisions that you make in terms of vaccinating mm -hmm. your children. Yes. Having said that, um, a couple of things to talk about vaccinations. The, mm -hmm. the, the diseases that we're vaccinating against against aren't mild illnesses. Okay. We've had whooping cough go through the New South Wales district. Every time we think we've get it, we get it under control, another little batch flares up. Why? Children can Why die is that? because yeah. of whooping cough. Okay. Um, the concern is that we are maybe not hitting the level of, and this is a terrible term, but it's the only term we have, the level of what we call herd immunity, which okay. doesn't refer to our children as a herd of cattle, mm -hmm. but enough kids in a population who are immune to an illness to stop to it eradicate from spreading. Mm, from spreading, OK. We, need to, mm -hmm. we, we ideally want to get to around about the 90-ish percent mark of right. children who are fully vaccinated to stop the spread of these illnesses. Where are we at? It depends... <laughs> It depends on where you are. Okay. So some areas in New South Wales yes. hit that mark easily. Some areas are in the 60 to 70 percent mm. zones. Some areas are in the 40 to 50 percent zone. We're trying to save our kids. We're trying to save our kids. There is a there is an idea that we're putting these diseases into our kids, and we're naturally born a certain way. So we are. We are. We don't need um, to have these things in us. These are serious illnesses that can okay. kill children. Yep. So babies can die of whooping cough. This is something that is not to be tinkered with or taken lightly. There has been, in the last few years, a vaccination program for women who are pregnant in their yes. third trimester to have a whooping cough vaccination. I know it sounds like I'm talking about whooping cough a lot, but that's because it's one of the more serious of these illnesses. I know there was um, measles outbreak me recently. Measles yeah. is, is a super hot topic issue, and yes. actually measles is a really interesting one because if you have if you get measles, mm -hmm. it's almost like, even if, you, even if you're fine with it, it wipes your immunity for everything else that you've had so you, you're back to being a baby with no immunity again. Right. Um, kids hate immunize, Kids hate injections. They will cry. They will be sad. There has been some unfortunate misinformation around sort of, especially talking about measles and its links to autism. That yes. was such a rubbish study okay. that had fudged numbers. And when it was retracted, no one ever saw as much publicity as when the first claims came out. Okay. Um, if you are uncomfortable about about certain vaccinations, talk to your doctor. If you'd prefer to split them out, I would rather you get them done mm. over a period of time than not get them done. So some parents choose to separate the injections that way. And look, get if you can get the, if you if that's yeah, what makes they you feel comfortable. Combined, yeah, okay. Then so be it. Right. Look, I think it's a very sensitive topic. Very sensitive. For a lot of mums and parents out there. So, you know, Tread carefully and do your research. Uh, but look, you've heard it from Dr Simone. It's better to be safe than sorry. So keep it locked right here at Mums at the Table.